Okay, so my first presentation for this morning will be to tell you about what's been going on for the last uh, year or two in the, in the standardization of uh, EBML and Matroska. So who am I? Uh, I'm uh, the guy who actually started the project from a fork from another project and uh, I created it on the 6th of December 2002. So the birthday is tomorrow. Uh, I did that on my free time knowing almost nothing about uh, audio and video, well, almost. I'm also a <laughs> VLC developer uh, full time for the last five years. I will talk about that in my next talk. Uh, uh, the ITF uh, uh, process is all happening uh, online for free. Uh, most of it is hap happening on a mailing list and also on GitHub. Uh, the main contributors are uh, Dave, that probably all of you know, myself, Jerome, Michael Robertson, who is actually important in, in getting the group uh, focused and uh, is not actually technically involved, but he's managing the whole group and the uh, meetings and everything. Moritz, who is the guy who's making MKV2 Nix that many of you use. Reto Cromer, you also probably know him. Martin Bello, who is involved in chapter. Ashley. <laughs> Tim Terryberry, who is uh, from Mozilla, has been working a bit on the group and a lot more you can find on GitHub, all the contributors. Uh, so there's a seller work group at IETF, so, so a dedicated group was created to standardize FFV1, EBML, Matroska, and FLAC for audio. Uh, so you can follow the link to find all the documents and uh, meetings and everything. Um, so for those of you who were not at previous No Time to Wait, uh, Matroska was designed for uh, long-term preservation of any kind of audio and video files, uh, even live streams. Uh, including metadata, uh, for example, tags, which is not very common, at least for the files you find online, unlike for audio with uh, ID3 for MP3, for example. Uh, it was also designed for live streaming. I was uh, explaining yesterday the story with Og Vorbis. We had a long argument with the people from XIF who created Og, uh, Opus, uh, Dala, Theora, Video Codex, uh, that the container wasn't good for video. And uh, so to prove that, because Org is very good for streaming audio, so to prove that, we also made Matroska good for live streaming to show them they really have no, no, no need to keep Org anymore. Um, so, and Matroska uses EBML and underneath, which is like an XML but in binary format that was designed for Matroska and for live streaming. Uh, so like I said, the project was forked in 2002. Uh, so how does the ITF uh, work? So it's an open group, anybody can join in, everything is uh, online and free. Uh, documents are free. Uh, participation is free, but if you go to the ITF meetings, which happen like every six months all over the world, you have to pay a fee to get inside. We did that once or twice uh, when we were sponsored. Um, and there's also the patent disclosure, which is very important for us. That means everybody who participates in the group, when they want something added to a document, if there's a patent related to what they're trying to add, they have to mention it because knowing that we might decide to reject it or not. So far it never happened. Um, also ITF is the group, uh, it stands for Internet Engineering Task Force, I think. 
And that's pretty much all the internet standards are were created are happening, except for World Wide Web. Uh, but now it's moving to be completely proprietary, so uh, ITF is really the way to go. And uh, uh, in the seller group, we have one monthly meeting, which was not happening in the beginning, and we were just working on our own time. Now we have monthly meeting to be really focused at least once a month on getting things moving, and it's really helpful. Uh, so the, there's a group uh, on GitHub, uh, it's called Seller-WG for work group. So there's a few repositories, there's the EBML one for the EBML, EBML specs, the Matroska one for the Matroska specs, there's the FLAC one I think, and the EFV one is uh, on a different GitHub uh, group. And so to give you an idea of all the work that's been done, you can see the commits and how many contributors were happening for each group. That was a snapshot from a week ago and keeps growing and it will keep growing. Uh, the progress is now slower for, compared to previous No Time To Wait where we had EU funding, so there were dedicated people working full time on that. Now it's really happening. Uh, when we have time, but it's still happening, and uh, we actually, well, I'll talk about that later. Um, so, for EBML, we are almost done. Uh, there's only like one technical ITF issue that we have to decide that's pretty much done. Otherwise, the whole document <coughs> is what they call ready for standard, so we're almost there. It's, I hope it will be done in 2019, otherwise probably early 2020. That's the underlying format. It can also be, it was designed for Matroska, but can also be used for other things. For example, Roku, Roku is using eBML to store the, the DPX metadata information. They store that in a, their own eBML format, which they attach at the end of the Matroska file. And uh, there are also uh, further development we can add to eBML. We have some ideas, but for now we're focusing on what's existing and Matroska. Uh, for Matroska, we decided to split the documents in at least three documents. One is the basic format part where you need that document if you want to be able to play files. You, the other is codecs because Normally, we designed it so that any codec could be put in Matroska. And for example, when it was created, even H.264 didn't exist, and it was added to Matroska. It actually made Matroska popular because of that. Now it's happening with uh, AV1. For example, I created the mapping from the AV1 bitstream to Matroska. Uh, AV1 is a codec a lossy codec that most uh, internet companies are involved in, maybe all of them. That would be Google, Microsoft, Apple. Uh, yes, Apple in a completely open format. No patents as well. Uh, so basically I did the mapping to Matroska. It's available for free as well. Uh, but we don't want the codex to be part of the Matroska document. It would be too big and too long to define all of them at once. Also, the tagging system uh, that uh, Peter talked a bit about will be separate because it can be an, its own document and it's also not needed for playback. We're also thinking about taking chapters off the main document because it's not needed for playback and it can be its own document, especially since it has some kind of chapter codex that nobody uses yet, but hopefully one day people will. And uh, so that's why we're also splitting because there's a lot of work to be done and we want to concentrate now on the basic playback for a document for playback uh, format. Um, so what changed since the last No Time To Wait, we ex created some kind of XML schema 
to define uh, EBML formats, that would be the Matroska format, the format from raw cooked. We also heard from people that actually use EBML, we had no idea about, but other people already started using it. Um, so now we have an XML schema that is standardized in the standard that's about to be published. Uh, so basically, you can create your own elements in another document, and because of the way it's done, you could know exactly how to integrate it, for example, in Matroska. Um, we also add some tools to verify that your XML schema is valid. From that XML schema, because it has all the information above, about your format, we can generate some code. We already do that, for example, in MK validator. Uh, in Lib Matroska 1 and 2, 1 is C++, 2 is C. Uh, I also did it for FMPEG, I haven't sent the patches yet, but the code is done. So basically when something is added or changed in the XML schema, you can generate the code and it's, you just have to send your code to FMPEG to be merged. You know it matches exactly the specifications. And uh, to do that, we use something called EBML pass, which is basically like an X pass in XML, but uh, to define an ABML element, including recursive one. I'm not going to the details. And so you're all welcome to come help. It's on GitHub. You can just send patches, add comments, uh, create issues if you read the documents and you don't understand something because we want it to be as readable as possible. Uh, the Matroska main playback is probably the one you want to focus on because it's really the core of what you're doing every day, unlike, for example, EBML. Uh, and I think that's it.